Hello web devs and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will show you how to make this layered image hover effect from scratch. The easy way. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn web dev, start now by subscribing and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Alright, let's start our project here. All we have right here now is our picture. Now we are going to create our index.html, okay, as always. And also our CSS file is going to be style.css, okay. Let's create, let's close this one and create our boilerplate. All right, now we have to give it a title, okay. Let's call this layer image hover effect. All right. And let's create a link that's going to connect our CSS to our HTML file. Okay. This is where the magic happens. Now let's go to the body, let's create a container and inside this container we're gonna have a, a picture, okay? We're gonna have this picture four times displayed in our page, okay? So let's copy this one and paste three times, okay? Let's duplicate this one, alright? We have our picture, the photo screen, let's see how it is right now without any css styling okay as you can see we have four big pictures okay no style at all do not worry about the picture because i'm gonna give you the link to the picture in the video description okay you can see that down below in the video description our next step is gonna be styling this using css style is gonna be easy and let's go do it, okay? Alright, it's time to go to our CSS style. As you can see, we have all these four pictures with no CSS style at all. First thing we're gonna do, let's target our body. Let's take care of its margin, let's give it zero. Padding also zero. Let's give it a width of 100% and a height of 100 VH. Make it a full screen, alright? Display is gonna be flex and we are gonna also align our items, okay? Align the items gonna be center and just fi just fi content also center so we are going to have our card right in the center in the middle of our page okay let's also give it a background let's get a linear gradient let's choose two colors and go from the left to the to right so to right is going to be this color here All right, now the second one is gonna be D7, D, E, 8, all right? So let's take a look. As you can see, you have already our background color. It's like a, some type of gray, it's nice. Now let's target our container, okay? Position is gonna be a relative. Let's give it a size. Let's give it three six pixels. Let's give a height of 640 pixels. And let's also give it a, a background, okay? The body has a background, and this one is also is gonna have a background, a different one. Let's give it a black background. 
is going to be a here. Let's delete this one and put zero 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 for black zero zero zero, and the opacity is going to be dot one. Okay, it's behind this one. Now let's go to the to the very important part of this project here. We're gonna transform. We're gonna spin the element 30 degrees to the left. Okay, so it's gonna be minus minus 30 degrees. We're gonna skew 25 degrees and also scale. We're gonna shrink the card to dot edge. Okay, as you can see, there is a, a few things to be done with the picture. It's still too big, okay? So the next step here is gonna be target our picture itself, okay? Before that, let me put here the transition. It's gonna be dot five seconds. Okay, now it's time for us to target our picture. Let's give a position of absolute. It's gonna use uh, with 100% of its parent, okay? And also apply the transition of dot five seconds. So let's see, okay, it's much better now. The, this is our, the right size of our card. Now let's take care of the hover itself, okay? We're gonna use here a pseudo class nth child. Here we have container, hover. Let's target our image here. And use nth nth child, the last picture. Okay, here we're gonna apply transform. Let's use translate when it has six pixels to the right and when it has six pixels up. Now let's deal with the opacity. This one is gonna be one. Okay. As you can see, the first one and the last one is done. Now we have three more to go. Let's duplicate this one, okay? Now we have the four pictures, okay? Now let's target the third picture. Let's change here for 120 and minus 120. Let's decrease the opacity. Okay, let's give it 0.8. Yeah, as you can see, it's working. Now let's go to the second second uh, picture here. Let's change it here also. Let's change it to let me see 80 pixels by 80 minus 80. And let's also decrease its opacity to dot six. Now we have three cards already. Now let's deal with the first one, the one that's in the base. Okay. For this one, we are going to use 40, 40 pixels. Right. And min minus 40 up. Okay. Let's deal also with its opacity is going to be dot four. Okay, as you can see, our project is done. We have our this nice hover effect here. Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see in the next videos.